Hello, hi. My name is Muhammad Amin Bimanab and I'm from Group 8. So I will explain to you guys about the experiment 6 torsion of bar. My group consists of Aida Zahira binti Azhar, Amirul Hakim bin Hamizan, me myself Muhammad Amin Bimanab and Naviraja anak lelaki Bala Subramaniam. Okay, I am Amir Hamizan. I will present for the abstract part. Okay, this experiment was being carried out in order to study the relationship between torque, angle of twist of a circular cross and the property of material which is bending moment when subject to different load. The equipment, the equipment was being used as base frame and a short shaft. A base frame has a clamp at one end and a ball bearing in housing which is plumber block at the other, the, to the other end while a short shaft in the bearing has a three jaws chuck facing the clamp and the torsion head at the outward side. A hanger cord was worn around the torsion head with an effective diameter around 75 mm. Specimens in the form of length of the road were gripped by the fixed clamp and the rotating chuck 450 mm away. An arc shape scale of degrees was mounted on base that can be moved along the length of specimen. A pointer on a spring steel strip registered to the rotation of the specimen when a load was applied to the hanger code. The data was collected and a graph of the angle of twist versus uh, torque was being plotted. The modulus of rigidity was calculated and compared with the theory theoretical value. The conclusion was derived based on the calculated data and graph. However, our result will differ from the theoretical value due to some errors during the experiment was conducted. Hi sir, uh, my name is Naim Daja Bala Supramanim and today I will explain about the introduction for experiment torsion of bar. So for the introduction, torsion of bar, rod or bar that resists twisting and has a strong tendency to return to its original position when twisted in automobiles a torsion bar is a long spring steel element with one end held rigidly to the frame and other end twisted by a lever connected to the axle. So it does provide a spring action for the vehicle. So we move on to the next slide. So for the objective to study the property of material which is bending moment when subject to different load. So that's our main objective. So we'll move on to the next slide. Okay, now we continue for the theory part. I will present it. Okay, for the theory, uh, based on the image one from the above, sharing strain is measured by the change in the angles formed by the size of the element. It follows that the formula uh, length of shaft multiplied by sharing strain equal to length from the center to any point in the circle of the shaft and multiplied by the angle of twist. And we can find that as uh, sharing strain equal to um, length from the center to any point in the circle of the shaft multiplied by angle of twist and divided by length of shaft. Okay, next, it also follows that the sharing strain in the maximum on the surface of the shaft where, where P equal to C, therefore, uh, uh, maximum sharing strain equal to radius of the shaft multiplied by angle of twist and both of that divided by length of shaft. In the elastic range, the yield stress is not exceeded anywhere in the shaft. Um, and the hood slot is applied. And Y max equal to T max or, uh, divided by G, which is uh, Y max is maximum sharing strain equal to torque exited on the shaft L uh, on the shaft uh, divided by modulus of rigidity. And we can solving for the angle of twist. We show that uh, angle of twist equal to torque exited on the shaft multiplied by the length of shaft and divided by polar motion moment of inertia and modulus of rigidity. Okay, we continue for the next slide. It is methodology, so apparatus and materials for torsion of power, which is steel and emblem loy, nylon rod. The second one is torsion bus testing machine ruler and also digital caliper and for the procedure it's very neat and easy which is the first one is the aluminum alloy rod was clamped in position and the load hanger is put on the cord as below 
and the second one is the rotation scale and pointer was set 400 millimeter from the fixed clamp and the pointer is put to zero so the third one is a load of 40 newton by 5 newton increments was added and the twist of the specimen for each increment is recorded in table as below so the fourth one is after the load was removed the rotation scale and pointer is moved to 200 meter distance from the clamp and above the procedure is repeated as the same and the fifth one is the diameter of the rod was measured and recorded as follows and the sixth one now the specimen was changed for steel rod and procedure is repeated for the 400 meter length only and the final product is finally the nylon rod was clamped in position and the twist over 400 millimeter and 200 millimeter is measured when a load up to 40 newton by increments of 5 newton is applied to the torsion head. The load was removed and whether full elastic recovery had cocked is spotted. So that's all from me, sir. Thank you very much. Hi, Salam Alaikum. My name is Aida Zahira Azha and I will present the results and discussion for this experiment. So for the results, uh, the torsion head effective diameter is equal to 75 mm. So table 1 shows the torque and twist of road for uh, length over 400 mm and length over 200 mm in degree and radian when uh, interval of 5 newton hanger load is applied to the uh, setup for aluminium alloy road with diameter 6.31 mm while table 2 shows results for steel rod with diameter 4.99 mm while table 3 shows for results for nylon rod with diameter 6.525 mm so to calculate the torque uh, the formula torque equals to force applied times with radius of rod so uh, for example, aluminium alloy with length over 400 mm, force equals to 5 newton, angle twist equals to 1 degree, torsion head effective diameter equals to 75 mm. So to calculate torque, force times with uh, radius, which is 5 times 37.5 equals to 187 87. 0.5 newton millimeter so to get the radius torsion head uh, effective diameter divided by 2 uh, equals to 37.5 millimeter and to convert degree to radian for the angle twist 1.0 degree times with pi over 180 degree equals to 0.02 radian so same calculation method is used to calculate the uh, torque and also the uh, angle of twist for the different loads, length and materials. So for the discussion, graph 1 shows uh, the twist angle versus torque um, of two lengths over 400 mm and over 200 mm. Uh, and also the linear of uh, the linear trend for the uh, plot. So this is for aluminum alloy rod. So graph two is for steel rod. Graph three is for nylon rod. So first discussion is to what extent does the experiment verify the torque or twist formula based on the graph plotted? Angle of twist against torque. So all the graphs plotted which are graph 1, graph 2 and graph 3 shows linear trends with the increase of load applied. The graphs show that the torque is directly proportional to the angle of twist. Uh, the larger the torque applied to the shaft, the larger the angle of twist of the shaft. Besides, all the rods exhibit purely elastic behavior. Hence, the torque or twist formula is verified to be true where the angle of twist is increased with the increase of torque. So on the right side is a torque or twist formula, which uh, angle of twist equals to torque exerted on the shaft times with length of the shaft 
divided with uh, modulus of rigidity times with polar moment of inertia. Okay, uh, second discussion is to determine the modulus of rigidity G of the materials. So to calculate uh, the modulus of rigidity, we use the torque or twist formula, which angle of twist equals to uh, T times L divided by J times G. So, um, but we make use of the graph we plotted, where the slope of graph equals to length divided by uh, modulus of rigidity times with um, polar moment inertia. So when we, re we rearrange, the modulus of rigidity equals to length divided by slope of the graph, which is the gradient of the graph, times with a polar moment inertia. First is to calculate modulus of rigidity of aluminium alloy rod, which the uh, radius is equals to 3.155 millimeter. So for length over 400 millimeter, the gradient of the graph equals to 0 0.0098, where the polar moment inertia equals to 155.64 millimeter power of 4, while the modulus of rigidity equals to 15025.72 newton uh, per millimeter squared. For length over 200 millimeter, the gradient equals to 0.0049 and the modulus of rigidity equals to 15025.72 newton millimeter squared. So the average modulus of rigidity equals to uh, length over 400 millimeter plus length over 200 millimeter uh, modulus of rigidity divided by 2 equals 150 25.72 newton per millimeter squared. So to calculate the modulus of rigidity of steel rod with length over 400 millimeter. The radius is equals to 2.495 millimeter. The polar moment inertia equals to 60.87 millimeter power of 4, while the um, modulus of rigidity equals to 35520.04 newton per millimeter squared. So to calculate modulus of rigidity of nylon rod, uh, with the length of a 400 millimeter. So the radius of the rod is 3.2625 millimeter. Hence, the polar moment inertia is 177.96 millimeter power of four. The modulus of rigidity is equals to 18664.28 Newton over millimeter squared. For length over 200 millimeter, the modulus of rigidity equals to 12625.83 newton per millimeter squared so the average modulus of rigidity equals to 15645.06 newton per millimeter squared so this table shows the uh, models of rigidity theoretical and experimental uh, and the percentage error when those two values is compared to each other for different rod materials for four aluminium alloy the theoretical is 26,200. The experimental G is 150 to 5.72. The percentage error is 46.65. For steel rod, the theoretical G is 79,000. The experimental G is 355 to 0.04. And the percentage error is 55.04%. Uh, while the nylon rod, the theoretical G is 75,000. The experimental G is 15645.06 and the percentage error is 79.14%. So to calculate percentage error, modulus experimental value is uh, subtracted with theoretical value and divided with theoretical value times 100%. So the percentage error of aluminum alloy is modulus 152.5.72 minus 26,200 divided with 26,200 times with 100. 
equals to 42.65%. So percentage error of steel and nylon rods are calculated by using the same formula. So the percentage error is computed by comparing the experimental with the theoretical models of rigidity G, values of the rod materials. The percentage error of the aluminum alloy rod is 42.65%. The steel rod is 55.04% and the nylon rod is 79.14% which are quite huge deviations from uh, the theoretical values. The, there are possibilities of errors happen in the process of conducting the experiments which lead to inaccuracy and impreciseness. In the following, the experimental errors and ways to reduce them are discussed. So the errors are zero error due to the ill-fitting and inaccurate, inaccurate plastic pointer, parallax error while reading the angle twist on the measuring scale, incorrect calibration or dimensions of the instru instruments and apparatus used, environmental errors such as wind movement and temperature interrupting the experiment process, the precautions uh, to reduce the errors are to use an accurate reading scale and pointed to prevent zero error. Make sure the eye level is perpendicular to the reading scale when reading the angle of twist. Third, to inspect and calibrate the instruments and apparatus before experimenting. Fourth, use more decimal place in the calculation to be precise. Fifth, repeat the experiment several times to calculate the average result. That's all from me, thank you. My next member will conclude this experiment. For the conclusion of this experiment, in conclusion, the objective of this experiment, which is to investigate the relationship between the torque and the angle of twist of a circular cross-section specimen and to determine the modulus of rigidity of materials has been achieved. The torque is directly proportional to the angle of twist of a circular cross-section specimen. The greater the torque applied, the greater the angle of twist of a circular cross-section specimen. The modulus of rigidity of each materials also have been determined in this experiment. The modulus of rigidity for the aluminium alloy and steel are 15,025.72 newton millimeter square and 35,500.72. 20.04 newton millimeter square with the 42.65 percent and 55.04 percent of percentage error each last for the nylon it has 15645.06 newton millimeter square of modulus of rigidity with 79.14 percent of percentage error that's all from me. Thank you.